Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Apata and today we are going to be considering the topic CD is the architect of our misfortune discourse. CD is the architect of our misfortune discourse. Now let me put this dis disclaimer out here that this is not one of or any of the why questions that will be set so please this is just for you to have a wider knowledge of the play test the lion and the jewel this will also help you to broaden your knowledge on what you already know about the play test so should in case you see this question cd is the architect of our misfortune discuss what are you expected to do let's start the first thing you need to do is to consider the major theme if you go back to my previous lessons i have um i've highlighted the compulsory paragraphs that you are expected to to write for any and every question when it has to do with literature in english so instead of you just jumping in to the question i know you know the point i know you know what to write but there are steps to this thing if you want to have a distinction in literature regardless of the question that you are asked the first thing that you need to write the first paragraph must contain the major theme so you look at the question and you look at the theme that best describes the question so the best thing that best describes this question is theme of vanity all right theme of vanity and so we'll be um, looking at the meaning of vanity which is an excessive pride or admiration of one's own appearance or achievement with this meaning i'm sure that you already know that vanity as a theme is the closest that we can use when answering this question um see this strong confidence in our beauty which is projected to her and the entire people of illuginate through the magazine stems up both pride and a sense of superiority in her the magazine gives her the opportunity to see how beautiful she is and instead of making wise decisions with this newly found knowledge she goes ahead to place herself above everyone else as she insultingly turns down Baroka's invitation to dinner, which in turn prompts Baroka to make sure he marries her at all costs. So it is not enough for you to know or to highlight what the theme is. You don't go ahead to say, oh, since this, they want me to just write in my first paragraph the major theme, I'll just write theme of vanity. And you will not go ahead to explain. You are going to explain in relation to the text and the question which we have done here for you so you move to your paragraph two which is character description if you recall in my previous videos adam highlighted any question that carries the character's name you must make sure to describe the character in your second paragraph and looking at this question we are attempting there is cd in the question so we are going to go ahead to describe cd in our second paragraph so let's go cd is the village belle of illusion layer who becomes aware of her beauty after the stranger brings back the magazine with a picture in it she is a strong upholder of custom and tradition as she vehemently turns down by Lacunley's marriage refusal on the note that he has refused to pay a bright price and also doesn't see any big deal in grinding paper pounding yam waiting upon until her husband finishes his food before she could eat all of this and more describes the personality of cd so you move to paragraph three this is where you start to answer the um the question so please do not just jump into answering the question if you do that that means that you have lost out 10 marks all right she allows her beauty to get to her so much that she she rates herself above Baroka, the village chief. 
she believes that beauty is all that one needs to get whatever or behave however we one deem fit. She glories in the accolades given to her by the village girls who didn't stop praising her beauty and go to the extent of making sneery comments about how a whole Baroque picture occupied just a tiny space and even close to the village latrine. While CDs is everywhere and wondered if it would had not been better if Baroque's picture is omitted totally as CD is obviously more important than Baroka. CD therefore believes that all that is needed to be powerful is beauty which she's got. All right. So now you are beginning to highlight why or the reasons CD is the architect of our misfortune. So we go to paragraph four. She's sharp tongue. That is also a flaw that contributes to her misfortune. She's sharp tongue, abusive, and disrespectful. This trait of ours also contributed to her downfall. She abuses Lakuni at will, as she describes him as a man with fine ears and little sense, and another time referred to him as a madman. She also shows disrespect to Sadiko and at large to Baroka by declining the ballet's marriage proposal, an invitation to supper, calling him old and telling Sadiko that it is a known fact that anyone who goes for supper with him ends up being his wife and now that she has seen her picture in the magazine she has known her worth now if i were sitting god forbid i would have been cautious about the way i talk especially now that my picture is everywhere Sending this kind of message through Sadiko to Baroka is the height of disrespect that can come from Sidi. And this in turn leads to her downfall. If Sidi perhaps more cautious about the way she spoke, Baroka may not, it's an assumption, Baroka may not have had any cause to want to take um revenge baroka feels hurt by cd's words and decides to have her for himself at all cost at all cost all right so let's go to the next paragraph cd's gullibility also contributes to her being the architect of her misfortune or downfall she couldn't see she couldn't see beyond the facade that baroka's sudden impotence should be questioned as it could be a ploy to win her to his side like let's take a breather here now, if I were city, God forbid, I would question how the almighty Baruka would suddenly be impotent after asking me out for supper. How? How? But she, she, she decided not to make use of her, <laughs> you know, and um, she just wasn't thinking right. And that was it. And that was what led to her downfall. She believes and rejoices with Sadiko. And as a result of her full hardiness, she resorts to honoring Bale's invitation. How? You have rejected this particular invitation and then you are going back there to mock him. Really? That is, that is even a sign of disrespect. Okay? So she didn't take her time to, to, to ponder on the sudden change. And she decided that she was going to honor the invitation just to go and mock Baroka. The next paragraph, see these actions and inactions at the palace also contribute to her being the architect of her misfortune or downfall. Now, let's, 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 let's consider this. Now, Siri goes to the palace and realizes that there was no God there was not one not one that's that should have sent the first warning to her that something is fishy but no she did not she did not think that the best option was for her to reverse she went in into the palace into the inner chamber 
And since Baroka, someone that said that she is supposedly impotent, I believe if I were CD, go forbid, I believe it should be if she should be sober, you understand. It should be in a reflective mood, not fighting, not having a friendly duel with his um chief warrior. That was another point that that was another point CD should have retraced a step, which she didn't. She joined and danced and laughed and enjoyed herself. Next paragraph. Oh, we're still in paragraph six and seven. Baraka invested into his room. So now, after you're done watching the draw, you decide to go into, like, who goes into a, a married man's room when she's not even married to, to him? And knowing fully well who Baroka is. Who? Of course, did <laughs> Okay, so Baroka invited him into his room to take a look at his technology he's working on the stamping machine and goes ahead to cajole her that this, the machine will carry his and her face so that everyone would see and admire her beauty wherever the stamp gets to. Now note that this stamping machine is still in in progress. What gives CD the assurance that as Sadiko said that she is going to be the last wife and then she will become being the last wife she will automatically become the first wife of the next um of the next chief and then she'll have the respect. What if Valet wakes up tomorrow, being the third AK market day, and decide that there's another beauty in the village that is entering his eyes? What gives Sidi the assurance that she is going to be Valet's favorite? I Lati was Valet's favorite before. I hope you can remember that. But very just just some some few months into her marriage to Bale, CD is now in the picture. And then I'm sure, I'm sure, although it is not in the play, but I'm sure that he must have sold the same tale to Ailatu of putting Ailatu's picture in the, uh, on the stamp and who knows. <laughs> so we see we see CD buying into this, and of course at the end of the play. The stamping machine was not fully developed and there is no assurance that it's not is going to be developed or it's going to be uh, in use till ballet dies but of course cd has already bought into it finally cd begins to feel sleepy drops her head on ballet and the rest they say is history <laughs> of course i know i'm sure that you know what what's ended that all right so that's that automatically um led her to being the wife of ballet so all of these evidences are pointers to the fact that cd is the architect of our own misfortune now whatever question you are asking why you should always find a way to wrap your answer around it even if you have a contrary opinion so as to get your full marks you don't say oh no she's not the architect of our misfortune meanwhile the question has asked that you justify the fact that she is the architect of our misfortune hold on to your own opinion and find a way to wrap your answers around justifying the fact that cd is the architect of our misfortune so this brings us to the end of this lesson if you have other points that you feel might be useful, kindly share with us in the comments section. I will love, 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 love to hear from you. And of course, if you find this video helpful, kindly like, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be informed, you'll be notified when I drop another video. Share and please, 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 please comment. I'll be waiting on your comment. Thank you until I come your way next class. Bye.